Hey guys, in this short video I want to show you the difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics with Blender. So let's start here with Blender 2.79 and create a simple armature that consists of three bones. I add the first one here. Then I go to edit mode and press Alt and F to flip the direction of the bone. Ok, then I extrude two other bones to build an armature that looks like a leg. Something like that, very simple and when I switch to pose mode now and rotate a bone, the child bones are affected and this is called forward kinematics. It's the default behavior for bone chains. Inverse kinematics work the other way around. Let's copy this armature and move it to the right to demonstrate this. So for this armature I will extrude a helper bone. This will be the so called target bone. When I move this bone later on, kinematics will be applied from the lower leg upwards. But to be able to do this, we have to set up the bone chain and the target for inverse kinematics. First I give the bones suitable names. This is the IK target, this one is the foot, and we have the lower leg and the upper leg. Alright, then I select the target bone and clear the parent of this bone by pressing Alt and P, and then I disable the deform property of this bone, because it is just a helper bone. After that I select the bone that should be the first one in the IK chain, this is the lower leg, then go to pose mode and select add bone constraint inverse kinematics. Here I select the target, this is the armature and the IK target bone and with this setup we are already able to move this target bone to apply inverse kinematics to the chain. Just select this bone here, press G and move it. Now you can see the difference of forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. You can still rotate the foot like this because it is not a part of the chain. Ok, but there are some improvements that we can do, for example adding a pole target. This is also a helper bone that we can use to adjust the bone chain in a certain direction. Again I extrude a new helper bone at this position and name this pole target. For this I also clear the parent, then I move it over here and I disable the deform property. Ok, then in pose mode I go to my bone constraints with the lower leg selected and add the new bone as pole target. Then we have to adjust the pole angle, which is in this case minus 90, and now the bone chain will always face to the direction of the pole target. This can be used for instance when creating leg or arm IK chains to have pole targets for the knees or elbows. Ok, that's pretty much it. The last thing that I want to point out here is that you can set the length of the IK bone chain. Again, in pose mode, go to the bone constraints and set the chain length. When I set it to 1, then just one bone is affected when I move the target. But the default is 0, this means that all bones of the chain are affected. For a leg, you usually set it to 2. The last thing that I want to mention is when you export your model as FBX, so you will export mesh and armature, there is an option to export the deform bones only. You can see this here on the armature tab, the option only deform bones. That's very useful in game engines to just export the relevant bones.
Okay guys, I really hope you like this short tip for forward and inverse kinematics and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support me and my channel then think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.